basically we're trying to be very respectful for the bees. We're trying to emulate what they would do in nature and uh, treat them with respect. It's one of the last places you'd expect to find beehives on the rooftop of an apartment building in Vancouver's West End. But thanks to a new partnership, four residential buildings in the city are helping the local bee population. So it's all about uh, education and sustainability. And these bees are a little bit different in the sense that we're locally rearing queens. These are queens that take care of uh, things themselves rather than the unfortunate chemical, de chemical dependency uh, that is, uh, is the norm for uh, bees in North America. Holly Burn Properties provides the rooftops while Ensure High Future provides the bees and beekeeping. The program hopes to boost the sustainability of the local honeybee population, which is in decline. Overall, Honeybees have been, we've been losing maybe 20 to 30 percent of bees each year, and then beekeepers have to make those numbers up uh, each summer in order to uh, make a living and uh, do the pollination that they're needed for. Habitat loss due to agriculture and urbanization among the reasons for the decline, and it's not yet clear what impact the floods and cooler spring will have. May 20th is World Bee Day, designated by the UN to raise awareness about the threats they face. Bees of all types play an important role in all ecosystems and uh, the more we can do to uh, support bee health of all kinds, not just honeybees, uh, the better off our environment's going to be, uh, the healthier our crops and our gardens and forests and wild places will be. 75% of the world's food crops depend on pollinators, as does 35% of global agricultural land. And Foster says efforts like the one in the West End can help. The program will also benefit residents who will plant bee-friendly plants and get a chance to taste some of the honey. The beehives in Greater Vancouver produce two, two and a half times more honey per colony than the ones out in the Fraser Valley. So with the irrigated gardens, uh, we do extremely well and people's plants on the balconies. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.